second attempt at this, so full disclosure, you guys probably already saw that I uploaded the video, but it didn't have my voice, and uh, it was much tougher to watch, I think, unless you don't want to hear my voice, in which case, mute it and play your own music. That's fine. Uh, anyway, uh, what I want to share with you guys tonight is something really cool that I came across while visiting my sister and my brother-in-law. My brother-in-law is a video game um, uh, armchair historian, let's say. Uh, you might remember him. His name is Ray Price. He was on an episode of the show uh, about a year ago. Uh, maybe? Maybe a year and a half ago? It was on uh, Batman Day. I do remember that. But uh, he, uh, he and I were poking around, being nerds, looking at stuff, and we were digging through old video games. And uh, we came across a Batman game that I had never heard of or seen before. And as you can see right now, the, it's got the title page up. It's a Batman 89 game. And before you, you start messaging, of course I know there were a ton of Batman 89 games. Um, there was one on the Nintendo, the NES, there was one on the Sega Genesis, there was an arcade Batman 89 game, there was a Game Boy Batman 89 game. I knew about all of those. I owned most of those. I played most of those. But we're digging around and we came to a bunch of games in the TurboGrafx-16 and I saw Batman. As you can imagine, I immediately was like, Batman? What's that? Um, I had no idea there was a Batman game for the TurboGrafx-16, but sure enough, there it was. We did a little digging, we found out this was never released in America. This was only for the Japanese version of the TurboGrafx system. So, it is truly a long-lost Batman video game that uh, I had no idea existed. And then, as soon as I hit play, I realized, yeah, this is unlike any other Batman game I'd ever seen before. It is really unique. It's interesting. Uh, it was made by Sunsoft, 1989, uh, the same folks who did the Nintendo game, but instead of just doing a different version, they went uh, completely different with it, and, uh, excuse me, instead of just doing a TurboGrafx version of the same game, they created a new game. Uh, so I thought it would be cool for you guys to check the game out and watch me play it for a minute or two. I am not a gamer, you guys know this, so uh, forgive me, uh, but at least you'll get a, a feel for what this game is. It's, it's pretty cool, it's pretty random, and I thought you guys would enjoy it. So without further ado, here we go. Let's get this party started, and um, we're starting in Gotham City. Stage one. Uh, get used to that title page. Spoilers, because you're going to see it a lot. Uh, here I come, and it's Batman. Uh, and so, as you can see just from the very beginning, it is a top down view, which is super unique to a Batman game. And uh, the controls are literally you batarang a bad guy, and then you kick him off the screen. And that is, that's it. That's what you do. There's no jumping, no punching, no jumping on the walls like in the Nintendo version. It is top down, running around this maze of Gotham City, picking up items of which I don't really understand what they are, but they're items. Um, and you can see these clown guys uh, are following me around. So they're kind of like the ghosts in Pac-Man. Um, so yeah, it's like, it's a Batman game that is part Batman, part Bomberman, part Pac-Man? Kind of? Um, and uh, yeah. So here we go, uh, Batarang. And uh, you can see some of these items are very random. Uh, there's like a vial of some sort. Could it be chemicals from Axis Chemicals? Or it could be ooze from Ninja Turtles, shared universe. Um, here we go, get back, get a new pair of boots. Papa needs a new pair of bat boots. Um, that have Nike on them. There we go. Right. I mean, I don't know what exactly these things do, but my batteries get better the more I pick up. So I, so I'll continue to pick them up. Uh, kill these guys, sons of bitches. Um, oh. Okay. Well, the bomb obviously was very helpful. It bombed them all out of there. Um, but I pick up some pills. Pill bottle. More ooze to mutate turtles. More ooze. And then this little green box, which maybe that's like a jack-in-the-box, like for the Joker, perhaps? Uh, maybe? And, uh, here we go again, stage three, Gotham City. Boom. At least we did the, uh, we did the Batman 89 swoop down, which is necessary. Ah, okay. These, oh, these blue guys are bastards, I gotta warn you. And, uh, you saw him, you saw this guy. I hate him. So, I, he already 
my pills. Stop at the Walgreens, the Gotham City Walgreens, get my pills. Kill this blue guy, because I hate him. What are you doing, blue guy? Okay, that was not my fault. I froze. And not froze, like, because I was freaked out. Just, there's something going on with the controls here. Yeah, the controls are wonky. I don't know what happened. Ah! Uh, uh, uh. Okay. I'm going to continue. I'm going to go a little further for, the, for you guys, because that time I was betrayed by the buttons. Okay. I swear my controller really was broken. That is not just a bad gamer excuse. Oh, but now I start with the crappy battery again. Jeez. It's alright. It's fine. It's fine. It's worth it. It's gonna be terrific. Yeah. Take it, blue guy. Take it. Just need to get my good batterings back. Get another pair of boots. See, so I opened up some sort of secret bat passageway. I need more power-ups. These, these slow batteries just ain't my jam. There we go. Come on, there we go. Alright. And on we go. I mean, look at those Turbo Graphics 16. Just blowing, blowing away the 8-bit competition back in 1989. Look at that. That's just, I feel like I'm watching them. There we go. Except he's blue. Oh, that guy. Yeah. Okay. We're back in the game, guys. Now we're really, we're really moving along. Now, one thing Ray shared with me is that this music is really good for Turbo Graphics. Um, I was not a Turbo Graphics guy, so I'm taking his word for it. Um, but uh, but apparently Turbo Graphics was not renowned for their music, and so this is, I guess, pretty good. This music though will sound familiar to you. Because this does sound like the same uh, the same piece of music that was created for the Nintendo game, just orchestrated differently, obviously on the different hardware. Um, so this brings back some some good memories of wasting time on a Friday night playing the Nintendo. Killing clowns, killing clowns. I'm gonna kill this blue one because I hate him. But now it looks like I got some chemicals happening. A little Axis chemical action, maybe? And I think oh, that I might be getting close to knocking Jack Napier in the chemicals. It could be water, I guess. Uh, yeah. Alright. I told you, this, this, they're getting full mileage out of that title card. We got the rock and music back. We got the batteries back. Boom. Looks a little short and stubby here. It's not not his best look. This is uh, the Danny DeVito version. Tim Burton explored that before casting Michael Keaton. So everybody complained that Michael Keaton was too short. Look at this Batman. Could have been way worse. Heads up, he's coming. Someone is. He's, he's gotten me both times I've tried to play. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if the third time's gonna be any different, but maybe I save him for last? Change up the strategy a bit? Don't go to us immediately. Because he is a jerk. Oh, okay, I guess he's not in the stage. It must be the next one. Um, stage 6 in Gotham City. So I do wonder, will I ever get out of Gotham City? Will we ever get to Axis Chemical? Will we ever, will we ever get to Wayne Manor? The Batcave? Any of these places? Maybe this is why they didn't bring it to America. It's just it's different versions of the same stage over and over again. Could be. Um, get this little jack in the box. Ah! I told you these blue guys, man. That guy in the bridge, that's what I was telling you about. He sucks. He is shit. 
shit at you. I'm gonna kill him right now, but he comes back, that's the problem. These guys, they are like the ghosts, they regenerate. Oh. Okay, so that's, this is the farthest I've ever gotten, so I'm glad I had the, the dress rehearsal before. It would be really nice to get to a boss. The music changed again. That was kind of a little Seinfeld action. Had like that bass Seinfeld music going on. Oh. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say the Joker already exists, because those are even the Joker bands from the movie. They're stressing me out. So now, so now we've got Batman and Frogger, and that might be it for me. No? Oh, oh damn it. <laughs> okay, that's it, guys. Uh, I'm going to keep playing this on my time, but I'm not going to make you watch me die over and over again. That's just too painful. Um, so I'm going to end it, but you guys got a glimpse at the glory that is the 1989 TurboGrafx-16 Batman game. And, uh... I, I've got to give them credit for a unique password. I mean, it's Joker back, profile shot of Batman, Batman back, Joker back. That's, you yeah, know, you don't see that often. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you for checking this out. I hope you think it was as cool as I did. Again, I felt the need to share it, and thank God Ray is good at this tech stuff, so I was able to uh, stream it to you guys right now. But um, anyway, uh, do you like stuff like this? Because, I, I, I don't know, I, we were thinking about digging up old Batman games like this and, and sharing them with you. There have been so many over the years, and I think it'd be kind of fun, something new, unique for the channel, so let me know if you like it. If you didn't like it, um, you don't have to tell me. Uh, you can keep that to yourself. I don't really want to know. I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. But anyway, thank you guys for checking us out on this Monday evening. Happy President's Day, guys. And uh, yeah, please, as always, check out the audio podcast wherever you get your podcasts or your backcast. Check out uh, us everywhere on the internet, on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube, Holy Backcast. And uh, please do subscribe to the YouTube channel so you never miss a video. I'm always trying to do more on here, so hopefully you guys dig it and subscribe tell all your friends about us. Uh, but that'll do it for this one. As always, I'm your pal, Andy DiGenova. Thanks for joining. We will see you next time. Same bat time, same bat channel.